Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. Today, to here to talk about the other Guda Guda event that just started on JP. <laughs> to take a look at it and see what's up with that. So that's gonna be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like. You can comment down below, tell me how excited you are for this event if you're on it. Hey, if you're on JP, feel free to tell me how you've been liking the event so far. I usually don't play the events on JP. Uh, mainly because I don't have a JP account that can actually, you know, function correctly. But it's really because I just save it for the NA side, where I can enjoy the story and stuff like that. <clears throat> but feel free to tell me how you're enjoying the event if you are playing it. And subscribe to me if you want some more stuff featuring me. So, let's get into it. This is Guda Guda Shin Yamate Koku, featuring, funny enough, this, the character that is actually kind of featured in... The NA side of the game, this is I Eo, I think is how you pronounce her name. I think I'll find it somewhere here. Yep, yep, Eo. I Y O. So I guess Yo. Io? Eo. Let's go with Yo for the time being. I'm gonna call her Yo right now. She's Himiko's uh, sister, I believe. Or some in some relation to Himiko. She looks almost exactly like her. I actually thought it was Kid Himiko up until they revealed actually it's not. And I was like, okay, fine, fair enough. Uh, in this event, you'll the, the five star is Sen no Rikyu and Yamane Kyusuke, who is actually also in the story that we're currently doing. So I was like, "Who the hell is this guy?" And then I actually found him in the event story, and I was like, "Oh, he's this guy." I, compl I completely didn't know. There's so many NPCs related to Guda Guda, it's kind of crazy. But let's look at some of the event stuff right here before we go into the actual units. Let me look at the event CEs, Welcoming a Journey, Buster 8%, Quick 8%, NP Generation 5%, Starting NP is 30%, and I can assume that's a 50% when it actually fully awakens. 50%, yeah, with a Buster, Quick, hmm, not, not, not too bad. Usually with Quick, the best C always ends up being, um... Kaleidoscope, just because it starts with 100%, but MP generation rate is actually pretty nice to have. I could probably work on some qu certain quick units that kind of just really need MP generation more than anything else, but at least for this event it should work out pretty well with grinding because of stuff like this. Especially, uh, but you could also just put, literally just put this on an arts unit and just use it for the MP generation <laughs> and the starting MP and you're good. So I would say, hey, not bad. There certainly have been worse. Craft Essence EXP card T ceremony and Craft Essence EXP EO the Junior. And then we have the event command codes, which is Consort of the Sun. Inflicts five uh, inflict 500 burn. Inflicts burn of 500 for three turns when attacking with the engraved card. Engraved card critical damage up 15%. Alright, not bad. <clears throat> Eternity Mirror gains immunity to skill seal NP seal card seal. Wow, for one time two turns when attacking with the engraved card. That's kind of nuts for a four-star event command code. Funny, it only shows up every, what, three turns? But still, that's kind of nuts. I mean, specifically for, I guess, certain boss battles where they would inflict you with that stuff. It, it'd be nice to be immune to it. And Ochanobu, which removes one ailment debuff. Uh, ailment debuffs are poison, burning, curse. When attacking with the engraved card, increases their max HP by 100 for one turn. When attacking with the engraved card, sure. That's okay. And now let's actually go into the... Let's see this is the main event info. I'm looking to see if the, where the free... I assume there's only one free CE, so I have to actually click on the banner. There we go, summoning campaign. Just to look at... Oh, Mori is actually featured on this, which is good. He is a limited 3 star. He's not new, but he is limited, so... <laughs> Nice for him to get featured and stuff. I don't have him MP5 yet, so this would be a good reason to wait until I actually get to there. But anyway, the limited craft essence on the raid up are the resentment from the underworld, ignore invincibility, buster uh, up 3%, MP damage up 15%. Um, okay. It's always kind of nice to have an ignore invincibility CE on hand, but I can't really think of one that you would want ignore invincibility. I typically go, that's just the way I play, where I just get a, the, I think there's a free to play one that just gives you ignore invincibility and 50% NP gain up. Not sure most people could actually get that, but hey, whatever. Ignore invincibility is ignore invincibility. It's not here, the 4 CE. Arts 3%, crit damage 5%, MP overcharge one, plus one stage one time. Meh. 
I mean, those are all good effects, but I feel like there's probably better... Again, I think it's usually in my mind. Maybe this is just the way I play. MP Overcharge is pretty nice, but I would kind of want to have it with starting MP Gauge over, like, having to build it up yourself, unless you're going for a very specific build, I guess. One that you want just a slight buff to arts and crit damage, I guess. And finally, the three star. Results of the soul. Damage cut 100 and quick 3%. Uh, quick up 3%. Okay. It's a three star C, so, you know, you kind of get what you expect from there. Uh, Mori is a three berserker who uh, is a three berserker, so there's really not much to go over for him, but I will go over the other two now. We got Yamane Kosuke. He is. Uh, act, uh, wait. He is two quick. Two arts, one buster, three hits, two hits, three hits, buster, five hit extra. First skill is warrior but literate. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of throwing some form of shade to his other Shinshin Gumi members or something. Increase party attack for three turns, increase party's MP generation for three turns, and gain crit 10 crit stars. Attack up is 20% and MP rate up is 20%. Damn, that's a nice ability. Second skill, Beauty of Nature C. Increase on quick performance for three turns. Increase on arts performance for three turns. Encourages on MP gauge by 20%. 30%, 30%. Perfectly respectable for a four star, for of course. Grants party evasion for one attack, three turns. Recovers party's HP and then removes their ailment debuffs. Uh, 300, 3000 um, healing at level 10. His passive skills are Magic Resistance D and Riding E, which increases his own quick performance by 2%. Good. I guess it's nice for him to have, I guess. His depend skill for the third one is the Anti-Berserker Attack Damage Aptitude, so you increase damage against uh, Berserkers. The first two are always the same. I feel like I always explain it, but just to be sure if you're new here. And his Noble Phantasm is an anti-army, increases the party's attack for 3 turns, gain 10 crit stars every turn for 3 turns, and then increase the crit damage of Shin 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 Gumi servant allies by 50% for 3 turns. That's hilarious. That is actively a very fun- who's on the Shin Shin Gumi? We have obviously Okita, Hijikata, Okita, Okita, Okita again. Uh, brand new Saito, and then obviously Kaisuke. So, hmm. I think he's a kind of a neat servant to be 100% real with you. I think it's a very interesting style of. Um, he's a very interesting style of support servant because he definitely feels like he's kind of geared to specifically just buffing the Shizu and the Gumi. Like, I can't think of too many other reasons you would want to run him except for in a three, <laughs> three team Shinsen Gumi and then just kind of go at it, have some fun with it. So, it's a, it's funny because if he actually wasn't so Shinsen Gumi focused, he would actually do pretty solid as a general, like, rando arts buffer, but you really, because of this end bit, really want to run him with the other Shinsen Gumi uh, to take advantage of that 50% up for them as well for the crit damage that is and he gains just a lot of crit stars too so and let me see arts snow phantasm two arts cards increases mp generation i could see having some fun with this guy for sure i think he's pretty cool he's pretty neat good in my book and next we have sen no rikyu who is a oh wow only two stages i guess the later stages are currently uh, locked for the time being until you complete the event or something Three quick berserker, <laughs> three quicks, one arts, one buster, five hit. Qu wow, five hits on quick, three arts, three busters, five extra. First skill, simplicity at its finest, a minus increases party's quick performance for three turns, increases party's MP generation rate for three turns, and gains crit stars. <clears throat> Quick up 20%, MP rate 20%, stars 15, that's very good. Uh, she kind of actually needs it because she is a Berserker, and Berserkers notoriously have the worst MP rate in the entire game. Uh, so the, the best ones that end up being used for looping are ones that can kind of either increase their own, or I guess have so many, um, have a way to have an MP battery basically, that's the only real way. So. Nice of them to acknowledge that with this. For an MP generation rate for three turns, especially because she is a Berserker. Mm, like, the one I can think about is Lancelot, but he gains it for, I think it's 100% MP rate for one turn only. Which is why he was the 
at least when I was quick farming, he was always the best because he was always very reliable. Kaleidoscope, turn one, turn two, get the 100. Actually, I forget when I would use it. Even I forget, I don't remember if I use a turn one or two. Uh, usually I use a turn one because that's when they were. Anyway, I'm talking about a different berserker. A single flower B charges one ally's MP gauge. Overcharges their MP by two stages for one time, three turns. Grants them invincibility for one attack, three turns. 30% MP. Very nice. Third skill. She's actually kind of like a pseudo quick support, funny enough. Increase on crit damage for three turns. Increase on crit damage for the quick cards for three turns. Grant self on attack and activate debuff for three turns. Inflict defense down by 10% for three turns. The enemies when attacking with the quick cards. Crit damage up is 50%. Quick crit damage is up 50%. <laughs> Damn, alright, well I guess it only works for how long? Is it really three turns? Alright. Inflict defense down with the enemy. Okay, yeah, okay. It's only for her, right? Yes, only for her. I was about to say. This was actually for everyone. I would roll what the hell are you doing? Passive skills, mad enhancements, sabai, EX. Increase on buster performance by 10%, increase on crit damage by 5%. That one buster do putting in work. Territory creation, wabi. A increases own arts performance by 8%, increase own mental debuff resistance by 20%. Not bad. Artistic aesthetic T A increase own debuff success rate by 10%, and then unfettered and flexible increase own NP generation rate of quick cards by 10%. Damn. All right. Third skill. Anti saber critical attack chance resistance increase own critical attack chance resistance against saber enemies. Inner Noble Phantasm is a rank C Ichigo Ichi E one time one meeting barrier. Deals damage to all enemies. Six hits. Uh, seals their NP for one turn. Inflicts curse by a thousand damage for five turns to them. The damage is six uh, six hundred percent at level one and at level five it's one thousand. Deals extra damage against the enemies with the man attribute, which is 150% up at charge 1, and then at the end of 500%, it is 200%. And just to see who's quickly on the man's, um, the man category, it's a lot of dudes. It's basically every servant, and then in terms of enemies, it is any of them that are men in Nobu, I guess. What the hell is this? <laughs> what? Never mind. I'll, I'll look away from that. <laughs> I'll figure it out eventually, whatever the fuck I fight that. But anyway, uh, I think she's really neat. Uh, she actually seems to be like a... You can kind of run it one of two ways. You can either make her, from what I'm seeing here, kind of the uh, AoE quick berserker of choice. I don't really see any other option except for... I guess except for Lancelot. I don't actually don't remember... It's Lancelot, and it's the the horseman. There's two horsemen. Both horses are very good for quick. No, but one's a berserker and one's not a berserker. How am I forgetting his name? It doesn't matter. There's not... She's the newest version of the berserker quick. And she seems very well tailored to either being the one who is shooting the noble phantasm. Because she has an AoE thing herself. Like everything about like being having like an increase of NP generation for quick cards. Increasing the quick performance and also NP generation rate. So combine that with the other quick supports that you already have on the team. It's a lot of buff and then include that with a, NP ch a charge to NP gauge. Which I'm pretty sure can apply to her as well. Which also overcharges her NP by two stages for one time. Which would put it over here for 175% damage if charged. I'm pretty sure you can. Just to be 100% sure on this. Maybe it's because I just got off of playing Yu Gi Oh! and the wording is always something that fucks you over in Yu Gi Oh! Let me just be 100% sure it's worded like the others. Uh, yep. Castoria, go there real quick. Go here to second skill. Charges one allies. Yep. Exact same wording, so she can give it to herself. Um, I think she's really good. She's really solid. I'm actually kind of interested to see how well she ends up doing on the JP side. I haven't seen anything on the JP side about how she actually functions, so it's literally me going off my gut. But she seems really damn good when they actually, <laughs> when they actually for real Z's release. Actually, playing up her kid is actually pretty close to being like if she just actually gave 50% MP and 50% to quick damage, she would basically be the quick support that I would have wanted for the game. She would have been easily able to fill the specific slot that quick needs, which is just more MP generation rate that goes to all allies. 
Like, in theory, getting two of her and then having 40% MP generation rate and 40% quick... Ah, oh, but if it was only... <laughs> if it was only this was... 50%. So close. But I think that makes it a, a pretty solid pseudo support, but also she can do the work herself because she is an AoE unit. So if you end up going for her, and you're someone who really loves specifically running quick, I think you're going to be pretty happy, I'd say. But that's what I think. Feel free to tell me how you actually feel down below. If you used her, uh, feel free to tell me how she actually, actually actually functions. I don't have to think about potentially pulling her for another two years at least. Currently, my mood is, is that I don't really have much want for her, but we'll see as time kind of goes on and as the mm, stuff evolves and stuff changes. We'll see how important she ends up being on my I actually want her list, but that's the end of the video, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks a whole bunch, especially if you made it this far. As always, you can show support by doing any of the things I mentioned at the beginning of the video. It really does help the channel a whole bunch. It helps me uh, grow and stuff like that. And I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever it might be. Until next time, everyone, have a good day. Have a good night. Bye-bye.